did not kill her. Can somebody call my phone? I'll call it. Who is this? This is Jaden. Can you tell your mom she looks beautiful? <laughs> okay, bye, you guys. Bye. bye. I just want to make sure that we have everything exactly right. Let's get started. Are you aware that Carolyn Bullion was murdered? When was the last time you were in Carolyn's apartment? Uh, we had cases together. Sometimes we would work after hours at her apartment. Your fingerprints were found in her bedroom. Were you and Carolyn romantically involved? My suspect. Because I did not kill her. Hey, Jamal. Right. Great show. Like I'm so torn up because I'm I'm watching. I'm right at the penultimate episode. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know who did. It. I'm torn up, but. My first serious question is to OT, and uh, this is a, a deadly serious question. Are you ready for it? I'm getting prepared. All right. I know that you're Nigerian, and I already uh, talked to your, your castmate. Who has the best jollof rice, Ghana or Nigeria? You said you were going to ask a serious question. <laughs> This is a serious question. It's not a serious question. Is Nigeria's got the, the best jollof rice? Oh, That's a joke you. question. Wow. Everybody knows the answer to wow. that. Wow. That feels, that feels tense right now. I don't know why it feels tense. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, but that was a pretty yeah. emotional response. <laughs> I mean, so I just like, you know. Oh my. Yeah. Well, you know. Okay, so it is a serious question, and I, res and I respect it. I respect it. What do you think is the best job? I don't have. A, I, I, I will plead the fifth. That's what I'm gonna do. It stays in character. See that? Law term. You see how? Spun it right back. You know. Well, <laughs> streaming right. on Apple TV. <laughs> Jake, I always take you out, and I know I think we talked about this when you did South Paul. That they always take you for like this method actor. And I know you've done so many. Great movies, uh, you know, Nightcrawler, uh, Brokeback, all these movies. But like, how, what turns the method would you do to get into this character? Like, how do you prepare to be this character? You know, what's interesting about this character was that we all really only had the pilot when we began. And we didn't really know what was going to happen to any of the characters. And Rusty being kind of the center of the story. I was really, really, I didn't know. I mean, I had inklings and there were conversations and obviously, you know, but oh, in the end, every episode we got, which I've never been, I've never experienced before. As an actor, generally I have a script, I'll be working on the script and I'll be working on, it's just one piece you're doing. But this was like every, you're living it, right? And over time, the tension of knowing what happened or not knowing what happened fed into my performance. And so I almost used the process of this uh, as a way of kind of developing the character. And it became a world, six months of this, just like, we didn't know, we'd right. like get the script and like, so OT would be like, I'd be working on a scene and he'd be in the trailer and he'd have read it and he'd be like, mm. <laughs> yeah. I'd walk out of the trailer and be like, mm. you know, and I'd be like, what? what? And he'd be like, mm. you're, you're gonna see. Yeah, you'll see. you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, you did that, <laughs> wow. You know, and you're like, so you're all living it together in that way. So I don't know. It was a strange and interesting experience that way. And and I, I talked to Peter and I asked him, like, who was the best Gyllenhaal actor between you and Maggie? I had to ask him that. So I asked him about that. Enough. But now I'm going to talk to OT about his sister, Timmy. And, like, I know she's with the Indiana Fever, the Olympian, and everything else. I want to know, like, all this Caitlin Clark stuff, like, how, what is your take as uh, somebody who must have been following WNBA seriously as a as a brother and a fan? Mm. What's your take on, like, the, all the all the hype or or the coverage of of the hype from, from a lot of the male sportscasters? Do you think it's been a fair coverage mm. just as a male who knows the sport and, and follows your sister who's great? In her own right. You know, I, I haven't been following the coverage as much as I've been following the games. And as usual, the WMB games are fantastic. And it's for, like, brilliant athletes. And my sister, Temi, who is killing it this season, um, I'm hoping to get to watch her in Washington this week. And so, um, yeah, I'm just excited about it. I mean, I'm glad people are talking about the W. And uh, they're just some brilliant athletes there. Well, I, I love having these interviews and talking about all these siblings and siblings-in-laws and <laughs> watching this great show. And I wish I could tell you what's going to happen, but I'm actually excited to see 
what happens in this final episode for myself. But great job. Thanks for just having me glued to the screen. I always love what you guys do on the screen, man. Y'all, y'all some great thespians. Thank uh, you so much.